What's going on guys, Triple M here again and today is episode 2 of my Shields journey and uh, the reason for these videos guys is just to give you a step to step guide of how to do certain things on your Nvidia Shield. Now I know a lot of you guys went out and grabbed it for Black Friday, Cyber Monday and a lot of people will be getting it for Christmas. So I decided to do a full playlist just addressing what we can do with the Shield and I want to break it down in sections. So episode 1 was just the unboxing and episode 2 is going to be a basic walkthrough and how to adjust your settings so you can get ready to start installing certain applications and start streaming. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel as of yet, please hit the subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell guys, that way when a new video or a new giveaway is released, you will be notified. So let's jump right into it. This is an interface after I booted the system up and I did go ahead and sign into my Google account. So that's up and running and it performed one upgrade on the system and then it did another update for the remote which I am using right now. Another thing I will be using in these videos guys is a keyboard and mouse. In my opinion, that is needed for any Android box guys. You need a wireless keyboard mouse. You need a good way to navigate around your system guys. Just pointing at the screen and moving left and right it's not going to do it. You need a full keyboard and you need a mouse. So if you guys need recommendations just let me know. I can um, give you a couple Amazon links to some good ones. Another thing before we jump into the overview of the shield is if you guys have any suggestions of videos that I should put on the playlist uh, just go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section below. Right now I know a lot of people been asking about adding additional storage because this shield don't only has 16 gigs so that's on my to-do list and that's probably going to be my next video also I have a, a lot of requests for installing Kodi and certain apps like that so uh, definitely on my to-do list as well as a lot of Kodi bills guys so any additional suggestions let me know I do also plan to do a couple benchmarks just to see where this box stands up against some of the best ones out there so first things first let's go ahead and do this overview and then change some of the settings so you guys can be ready to start streaming so there we go guys go to the top you can click to speak or you can Click the type, pretty self explanatory. Let's try to speak. And we'll click continue there. Allow. Yes, why not? Continue. All right, let's skip okay, this. Google. What can you do? Let's skip oh, this. I'm already aware of what Google can do. <laughs> so let's try it again. What is the weather like in? Ontario today. In Toronto tonight, it's predicted to be 41 and mostly cloudy. Right now it's 43 and mostly cloudy. Play Triple M Cody on YouTube. Okay, playing Triple M Cody on YouTube. And there are my recent upload guys. That's how easy it is to use the voice function. And it seems to work very well if I do say so myself. So let's go back home. There, and you do have the option to just click on it and play it. Let's try Justin Timberlake. And there we go. You can see the quality on that is pretty good as well. All right, so next is our apps. And these are the apps that we do have installed on our systems by default. You have Google Play Store, Play Movies, TV. You have YouTube, Netflix. You have Google Play Music. You have Amazon Video. You have Google Play Games, Plex, Photos and Videos. And you also have Voodoo Movie. So those are the default apps. And scroll down, you have NVIDIA Games. So basic layout, I don't have much here. So let's go through some of the settings. And we can do a couple tweaks that will get us ready. So we'll go down. So before I go to the settings, you do have network settings. I am connected uh, via Ethernet port right now, so hardwired in. I do have the shield accessories and do have the power options. The shield accessories is just for your controller or your remote that you have installed. So let's click on that. You can see I do have an active remote and you have the option to pair an accessory as well. All right, so let's go into our settings. First, we have our network. Not much to do there. We are connected by hardwire. Display and sound. You have the resolution there, which is recommended. Let's click on that. So you do have the 1080p at 59.9, 60, 1080p at 50 hertz, 1080p at 23. Here's our power control. So this will allow you to control your TV, guys, turn it on, stuff like that. Sound, volume control. Let's go to advanced settings. HDMI settings, USB audio. Surround sound, adjust for overscan. I use this setting to adjust the picture size of your TV. So a lot of people will probably run into this depending on what 
monitor or TV you have with the shield. So let's click on it. And all this does is allows you to align your screen with what your shield is doing. So I can move left or right. You can see it's kind of zooming in right now. Okay. We have our stereo up mix. Okay. Fix volume. Pass audio through our external devices. Okay. So let's go to our systems, LED brightness, processor mode. Right now we set to um, max performance, but you can set it to be optimized. That way it just gives an overall. But this is a shield and I want to get the best performance as possible. Let's go to our apps. Here's our apps permissions. You have your storage and reset. Let's click on that. So right now my internal share drive, I have 11 gigs left and nothing has been installed. So this is a 16 gig system and this is the OS and whatever default applications are installing your system. So guys, you will need to add storage to this box and I will show you guys to do this probably in the next video. But get an external hard drive. It could be a 256 gigs or 512. Just get something with decent amount of storage and you can essentially um, just adapt it to make the shield use it as internal storage. So stay tuned for that video. Okay, you do have network storage and you can do a factory reset. Screensaver. When to start after five minutes, put device to sleep after 20 minutes of no activity. You can start the screensaver now. You can sleep now. You can stay awake on music. So you do have a couple options here. You do have a screensaver backdrop option. So Google Cast, and this basically allows you to cast a device to your NVIDIA Shield. So if I have my Galaxy Note 8 and I wanted to cast a YouTube video, I can do that directly. Let's go to about devices. Let's go to upgrades first. See if we have any. We can check. Okay, so look like we already checked today and we're good to go. When upgrade is available, automatically download. You guys can change that. I haven't named the shield yet. I can do a restart, power off, uh, status, legal information, uh, NVIDIA Shield policy. Here's the version of Android 7. Security patch, build, and shield. TV version. So go down there is our time and date. Not going to go into that. The language is set to English, keyboard. So let's go to home screen, guys. And this is a nice setting that I do recommend using. Let's go down to apps and games role. And you can sort automatically by recent use. I'll go ahead and turn that on, guys, because it only makes sense that the most used apps will pop up towards the front of the device. That way you can access it easier. So that makes sense to me. Guys, feel free to do it whatever you like. Recommended row, and you can turn certain applications off here. Let's go back. Here's my Google account. Here's my accessibility. Shield accessories, add accessories, location, and want to go to security and restriction. Another big one. Want to go to unknown sources like we are right here. Turn that on. And of course, if you guys watch any of my videos, whether you're using Kodi, whether you're using a Fire Stick, you want to make sure Unknown Sources is turned on. That's where most of your third-party applications will come from. So those will be able to install correctly if that setting is turned on. Also, verify apps. You want to make sure that's turned off, guys. Um, not all apps will pass this test. So just go ahead and turn that off because if you're going to be downloading a lot of third-party applications, you don't want this to be turned on. Okay? We can get out of here now. Just wanted to do a couple things in the Play Store just to get you guys up and running for the next video. So let's go to Google Play Store. Accept. And here we are, guys. So we're going to go search and we're going to install a couple things. We're just going to type. <clears throat> First one, of course, is Cody. Let's go ahead and install Krypton 17.6. Accept. And it's currently installing. Let's go back a little bit while this installs. The next app we're going to install is ES File Explorer. All right, so there it is. ES File Explorer, install. So while that's installing, we'll just back up. And we're going to do another search.
and we're going to install the TV app repo. And this will allow you to install third party applications on the link back launcher, guys, which is the default launcher for uh, this system. So let's go click on it, click install. And we'll go back while this is installing. And we got a couple more here that we can get from the Play Store. I'm going to also search for the side load launcher. There it is right here, guys. All right. And this will allow you to launch apps you sideloaded from your Android TV. Click continue. So that's installing. We'll hit the back again. We have two more to install here. We're going to install VLC as well as MX Player. And here's VLC. Can't miss it. Usually in some form of orange like it is right now. Click install. And back out. Next one is going to be MX Player. These are probably the best players for playing media on any Android box, guys. So definitely a must have when you're doing your setup. So the next one is MX Player. There it is right there. We'll click install. Alright, so those are all the apps we're gonna get from the Play Store. So let's just hit home. And if we go down now, you can see all the apps that we just installed, guys. So VLC, you have a TV repo, Cody. You also have MX Player, Silo Launcher, ES File Explorer up top. So these are the core applications that you'll need for your NVIDIA Shield. So in the next video, I'm going to go into ES File Explorer. I'm going to change a couple settings in there, and then we can get into some of the streaming apps. So that's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions about this, please let me know. Please remember to drop a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you want me to go over with this NVIDIA Shield while I go through this ultimate setup playlist. I'll try to go ahead and respond and read every comment in the comment section. So don't forget to give me two thumbs up if this video helped you. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.